As concerns over global warming amplify, the focus on environmental challenges has predominantly fixated on the atmosphere and terrestrial realms, accentuating the amplifying of hurricanes, extended droughts and rampant wildfires. However, a parallel climate crisis is unfolding, concealed beneath the surface and beyond immediate sight. A substantial number of aquifers, pivotal sources accounting for 90% of the nation's water supply and instrumental in the transformation of vast tracts of America into highly productive farmland, are undergoing severe depletion. This decline poses a profound and irreplaceable threat to the American economy and society on a broader scale. If you like where this is going, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I post interesting content daily that you don't want to miss. Let's go! In an extensive investigation effort spanning months, the New York Times has delved into the issues of groundwater depletion. This endeavor involves interactions of over 100 experts traversing the nation and constructing an exhaustive database drawing from millions of data readings collected from monitoring stations. The findings of this rigorous exploitation lay bare the depletion of this indispensable natural resource across significant portions of the nation. Alarmingly, many of these aquifers face a depletion trajectory that defies replenishment, thereby presenting an ominous outlook for the economy and society at large. The primary culprits behind this phenomenon are the vast industrial agriculture operations and sprawling urban centers, both voraciously drawing upon aquifers. The depletion of these underground reservoirs holds grave implications with recovery in certain instances potentially spanning centuries or even millennia if restoration occurs at all. The urgency of addressing this crisis cannot be overstated. The symbiotic relationship between groundwater and the nation's vitality is at stake. Urgent measures are warranted to mitigate and potentially reverse the course of aquifer depletion safeguarding the longevity of a resource essentially for the well-being of both economy and society. The depletion of groundwater reserves is exerting a severe toll on vital agricultural regions like Kansas, where the vast aquifer beneath 2.6 million acres of land can no longer sustain large-scale farming endeavors. This crisis has led to a substantial decline in corn yields, a scenario that if replicated could potentially endanger Americans' esteem status as food powerhouse. Across a span of 1,500 miles to the east, in New York State, excessive extraction of groundwater is jeopardizing the integrity of drinking water wells on Long Island. This region, known as the birthplace of the contemporary American suburb, encompasses not only working class and communities, but also the affluent Hamptons along with other opulent beachfront residences. Meanwhile, the dire situation is unfolding with great urgency around Phoenix, a rapidly expanding metropolis. The gravity of the situation has escalated to such a degree that certain parts of the country lack adequate groundwater resources to support the construction of new homes dependent on the aquifer. In various other pockets of the country, comprising sectors of Utah, California and Texas, excessive groundwater pumping is causing tangible infrastructural problems. Roads are buckling under the strain, foundations are cracking and fractures are appearing in the earth. Moreover, rivers that formerly relied on groundwater to thrive have dwindled into thickles or have altogether vanished, becoming vestiges of their former selves. The significance of this crisis is difficult to overstate. Don Klein, the Associate Director for Water Resources at the United States Geological Survey, emphasized the irreversible nature of disappearing groundwater, stressing that its importance is nearly impossible to adequately convey. Despite the immense importance of this predicament, the understanding of its gravity has remained fragmented until now. This comprehensive analysis draws upon data from tens of thousands of groundwater monitoring wells scattered throughout the nation. The information was collated from various federal, state and local entities, contributing to a comprehensive database. The insight garnered from this database paints a vivid picture of the crisis from multiple angles. One notable observation is that each year since 1940, there have been more wells experiencing declining water levels than those witnessing an increase. This investigation illuminates the dark predicament facing America's groundwater reservoirs. The repercussions of this crisis are extensive, potentially disrupting agricultural production, undermining water security and destabilizing critical infrastructure. The urgency to address this challenge on a unified front is palpable, demanding coordinated efforts at federal, state and local levels to ensure the sustainable management and conservation of this precious resource. 
One of the most significant hurdles in addressing the depletion of this concealed yet crucial natural asset is the lack of a comprehensive regulation. Federal involvement is minimal, while individual states have established a complex web of often inadequate regulations. Compounding this challenge is the limited scrutiny the issues receives on a national scale. Typically, hydrologists and researchers narrow their focus to individual aquifers or regional shifts. This narrow perspective fails to grasp the overarching crisis though. This regulatory void perpetuates practices that deplete aquifers, including cultivating water-intensive crops like alfalfa or cotton in arid regions and disproportionately relying on groundwater in rapidly expanding urban centers. In certain states such as Texas, Oklahoma and Colorado, regulations allow for the extraction of groundwater from specific areas until its depletion. Some regions have even designated official timelines outlining the rapid consumption of groundwater for over the forthcoming decades. Oklahoma is actively assessing the remaining water reserves within its aquifers, a critical step that could guide state legislators in setting pumping limits. However, Christopher Neal, overseeing water rights for the Oklahoma Water Resource Board, acknowledges the complexity of conveying the message to landowners that their groundwater supply is dwindling. The challenge lies in garnering public acceptance of the government's role in managing the depletion of this precious resource. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.